overlooking acid reflux disease in children. An 11-year-old boy in Boston developed a gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD. According to his mother, Kathy, it was the end of June in the year 2005 when his son developed a cough which usually happens during sleep and even during daytime. It is only a short dry cough symptom. His pediatrician thought it was only allergy, however, when his son was tested, results showed that his son had no allergy. According to her, it was his son's asthma that relates to GERD. Studies show that GERD is likewise normal to infants and children like in adults, though this fact is oftentimes being overlooked. The symptoms come in continual sickness, coughing, and other respiratory trouble. Children are vulnerable to GERD because of their immature digestive system. Truth is majority of the infants grow out of GERD once they reach the age of one year old. The medical specialists further stated that symptoms for children may come in difficulty in swallowing foods or failure to grow. The doctors recommended that in situation like this it is best to lessen the amount of acid in the children's stomach before it could lead to acid reflux since this disease is not very curable in children. However, the doctor suggested some approaches to avoid acid reflux on children, an example of these is burping the infant quite a few times during feeding or letting the infant stay in an erect position for 30 minutes after nourishing. Although, for a child ages 3 and up, doctors suggested to keep them off from sodas that includes caffeine like soft drinks, carbonated drinks, spicy foods like peppermint, acidic foods like citrus fruits, too much chocolate, and fried and fatty foods. Ideally, establishing a healthy eating habit diet can really decrease the acid reflux in children. It is also suggested that children will eat smaller meals before sleeping, if possible, do not allow them to eat 2 to 3 hours before sleeping, also, elevate the head of their bed for at least 30 degrees. Further treatments include the use of H2 blockers, this is available in any drug store. Prevacid, Proton plump inhibitors can also be used in treating acid flux for children. However, if these treatments fail to stop the symptoms, other treatment method needs to be done. It is very atypical, but doctors recommend surgery, this is so far the best treatment for relentless symptoms which do not any more counter to other treatments. The esophageal reflux surgery for children is designated for children who have had unsuccessful medical treatments, and continuous surgery is essential as the child grows. Now, if you get confused whether when is the time to consult a pediatrician regarding acid reflux. The answer is you observe, observe the amounts of vomiting of the child, if it already comes out in green or yellow, or appears to be like blood or coffee grounds, their difficulty in breathing after vomiting and there is pain in swallowing, immediately consult a pediatrician before the symptom gets aggravated. So to prevent the occurrence of this disease, stay away from the habit of leaning forward after eating, or worse, sleeping after taking a large amount of food. Take note, advanced acid reflux disease has a great possibility to end serious medical complications, and it may lead to hospitalization. Be keen of the possible symptoms so will not overlook it. Take care of your kids. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.